And then, in a moment of unexpected connection, the elephant lowered its massive head, allowing Chinia and Emika to approach the sacred calabash of fertility. With trembling hands, they reached out and claimed the calabash, feeling its ancient power moving through their veins. They presented the sacred calabash to the king and queen, knowing that the fate of the kingdom hung in the balance. King Kwasi and Queen Ngozi accepted the calabash, their eyes filled with a mixture of hope and fear. Holding the ancient calabash in their hands, they whispered words of prayer, calling upon the spirits to listen to their plea and lift the curse that had plagued their family for generations. Once upon a time, the kingdom of Nlovu was known far and wide for its lush forests, towering mountains, and vibrant culture. But behind the grandeur of its landscapes and the richness of its traditions, there lay a deep-seated sadness within the royal family. King Kwasi, a strong and wise ruler, had ruled Nlovu with a fair hand for many years. His queen, Ngozi, was known for her beauty and kindness, beloved by all who knew her. Yet, despite their many blessings, the couple could not escape the cruel fate that had befallen their ancestors, a curse that had left the royal bloodline barren. Generations had passed without a single child being born to the king and queen. Their halls echoed with the emptiness of unfulfilled dreams and the heavy weight of uncertainty. The people of Nlovu whispered in hushed tones about the curse that had gripped their rulers, wondering if there would ever be an heir to carry on the kingdom's legacy. But despite the darkness that shadowed their every step, King Kwasi and Queen Gozi refused to give in to despair. They continued to rule with strength and dignity, hoping against hope that one day the curse would be lifted and their prayers would be answered. As the years went by, the kingdom of Nlovu flourished, with people finding peace in their traditions and the beauty of their land. But still, the absence of an heir weighed heavily on the hearts of all who called Nlovu home. Little did they know, however, that fate had already set into motion a series of events that would change the course of their history forever. Hidden deep within the heart of Nlovu, a secret lay waiting to be uncovered, a secret that held the key to breaking the curse and bringing hope back to the kingdom once more. Princess Chinya, with her fiery spirit and unwavering determination, had always been a beacon of light in the kingdom of Nlovu. Despite being the youngest of the royal siblings, she possessed a courage and adventurous streak that set her apart from the rest. As she watched the king and queen suffer under the weight of the curse that had plagued their family for generations, Chinya knew that she couldn't stand idly by any longer. With her mind made up and determination burning within her, she made up her mind to go on a journey to break the curse once and for all. Ignoring the protests and warnings of the royal advisors, who feared for her safety, Chinya set out into the unknown, her heart filled with hope and determination. With each step she took, she could feel the weight of the kingdom's expectations resting upon her shoulders, but she refused to give up. Venturing deep into the heart of the mystical forests that surrounded Nlovu, Chinya encountered challenges and obstacles at every turn. Yet, she pressed on, her spirit determined as she searched for clues and answers that could lead her to the solution she sought. Along the way, she encountered creatures of legend and ancient spirits who whispered cryptic messages of guidance and warning. With each encounter, Chinya grew stronger and more determined, her resolve unwavering despite the dangers that lurked around every corner. But as she goes deeper into her journey, Chinya soon realized that breaking the curse would require more than just courage and determination. She would need to unlock the secrets of her ancestors and uncover hidden truths that had long been forgotten. With each passing day, Princess Chinia's journey became more dangerous and uncertain. Yet, she refused to give up hope, knowing that the fate of her kingdom rested in her hands. And so, with the spirit of adventure burning brightly within her, she continued on her journey, determined to bring an end to the curse that had plagued her family for far too long. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to be the first to experience the thrill of our next story. Share with fellow adventure seekers and let's keep the excitement going. As Princess Chinia ventured deeper into the unknown, her path led her to the outskirts of the kingdom, where she stumbled upon a figure dressed in mystery and intrigue, Sorcerer Emika. Emika was unlike anyone Chinia had ever encountered before. 
With his wild hair and mischievous grin, he seemed more like a trickster than a powerful sorcerer. Yet, there was something about him that drew Chinya in, the spark of wisdom hidden beneath his creepy dressing. Though hesitant at first, Emika couldn't resist the princess's infectious enthusiasm and unwavering determination. And so, with a twinkle in his eye and a smirk on his lips, he agreed to join Chinya on her daring adventure. Together, they journeyed through the untamed wilderness, facing challenges and obstacles that tested their strength and wit. Along the way, Emika opened up to Chinya with stories of his own adventures and imparted ancient wisdom that had been passed down through generations. As they traveled, Chinya and Emika developed a bond unlike any other, a bond created in the fires of adversity and strengthened by their shared quest to break the curse that had plagued the kingdom for so long. But as they go deeper into their journey, they soon discover that the key to breaking the curse lay not in ancient spells or powerful magic, but in the power of love and sacrifice. With each passing day, Chinya and Emika grew closer, their hearts joined in a bond that transcended time and space. And as they stood on the tip of greatness, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, they knew that together, they could overcome anything. As Princess Chinya and Emika traveled deeper into the enchanted forest, they found themselves facing a series of daunting trials that tested both their courage and their wits. The first challenge they encountered was a group of enchanted creatures, a pack of mischievous supernatural beings who delighted in leading travelers astray. With their tiny wings fluttering and their laughter echoing through the trees, the supernatural being attempted to lure Chinya and Emika off the path. But with Chinya's unwavering determination and Emika's sharp intellect, they saw through the supernatural being tricks and pressed on, undeterred by the distractions. As they ventured further into the forest, the path ahead seemed to shift and change before their eyes, twisting and turning in unexpected ways. But Chinya, with her sharp intuition, and Emika, with his clever strategies, focus on their journey, never losing sight of their goal. But perhaps the most dangerous trial of all was the magical traps that lay hidden throughout the forest, invisible traps that threatened to catch anyone who dared to go too close. With quick reflexes and a healthy dose of caution, Chinya and Emika managed to escape the traps, using their intelligence to outsmart the forest's defenses. Despite the dangers that surround every corner, Chinya and Emika faced each trial with laughter and courage, their bond growing stronger with every obstacle they overcame. And as they came out from the enchanted forest, victorious and unhurt, they knew that their journey was far from over, but with their determination and resourcefulness, they were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. As Princess Chinya and Emika came out from the enchanted forest, they found themselves facing the hardship of the desert, a harsh and unforgiving landscape where the sun beat down consistently and the sun seemed to stretch on endlessly. With each step they took, the heat pressed down upon them, sapping their strength and leaving them patched and weary. But despite the challenges that lay before them, Chinya and Emika pressed on, their determination unshaken. As they journeyed through the desert, they encountered swelling sandstorms that threatened to engulf them, and mirages that played tricks on their minds, leading them astray. But with Chinya's sharp eyes and Emika's quick thinking, they managed to stay on course, their spirits undeterred by the harsh conditions. But their greatest challenge came in the form of a powerful desert jinn, a creature of fire and sand, whose very presence seemed to distort reality itself. With its fiery gaze fixed upon them, the jinn blocked their path, demanding a tribute in exchange for safe passage. Chinya and Emika faced off against the jinn, their mental sharpness and cunning faced off against its raw power. Through clever strategies and quick thinking, they managed to outsmart the jinn, turning its own illusions against it and escaping its clutches. As they left the desert behind them, the sun sinking low on the horizon, Chinya and Emika knew that they had overcome yet another trial on their journey. And with each challenge they faced, their bond grew stronger, their resolve unshakable in the face of adversity. With renewed determination, they continued on their quest, knowing that the path ahead would be fraught with danger, but confident that they would face it together. Share this insightful video let's reach 1000 subscribers together and keep our Africa folktale adventure going. 
After enduring the trials of the desert, Princess Chinya and Emika finally arrived at their destination, the hidden oasis where the key to breaking the curse awaited them. Nestled among the palm trees and shimmering waters of the oasis lay the sacred calabash of fertility, its mystical powers said to hold the secret to restoring life to the barren royal lineage. But standing between them and the coveted calabash was a formidable guardian, a majestic elephant with tusks as sharp as spears, its eyes gleaming with a fierce determination to protect the sacred relic at all costs. Undeterred by the elephant's imposing presence, Chinya and Emika approached with a mixture of courage and compassion, seeking to gain the creature's trust rather than engage it in battle. With soft words and gentle gestures, they conveyed their intentions to the elephant, showing respect for its role as guardian of the oasis. Slowly, the elephant's demeanor began to soften, its weariness giving way to curiosity as it observed the two travelers before it. Sensing an opportunity, Chinya and Emika continued to approach with caution, offering gestures of friendship and goodwill. And then, in a moment of unexpected connection, the elephant lowered its massive head, allowing Chinia and Emika to approach the sacred calabash of fertility unblocked. With trembling hands, they reached out and claimed the calabash, feeling its ancient power moving through their veins. As they turned to leave the oasis behind them, they offered a word of thanks to the guardian elephant, acknowledging its role in their journey. And as they journeyed onward, the weight of the calabash in their hands filled them with hope and determination, knowing that they were one step closer to breaking the curse that had plagued their kingdom for far too long. With the sacred calabash of fertility in their possession, Princess Chinya and Emika journeyed back to Nlovu, their hearts filled with anticipation and hope. As they returned to the kingdom, they were greeted by the joyous cheers of the people who had heard whispers of their quest and awaited news of their success. Making their way to the royal palace, Chinia and Emika were met by King Kwasi and Queen Gozi, who had waited anxiously for their return. With trembling hands, they presented the sacred calabash to the king and queen, knowing that the fate of the kingdom hung in the balance. King Kwasi and Queen Gozi accepted the calabash, their eyes filled with a mixture of hope and fear. Holding the ancient calabash in their hands, they whispered words of prayer, calling upon the spirits to listen to their plea and lift the curse that had plagued their family for generations. And then, in a moment of breathtaking beauty, the sacred calabash began to glow with a radiant light, its mystical energy filling the room with warmth and power. With a burst of magic, the curse was broken, and the kingdom of Nlovu was bathed in the light of new beginnings. Tears of joy streamed down the faces of King Kwasi and Queen Gozi as they embraced them, their hearts overflowing with gratitude and relief. And as the news spread throughout the kingdom, the people rejoiced, celebrating the restoration of their beloved Nlovu with feasts and festivities that lasted for days on end. With the curse finally lifted, the royal family looked towards the future with renewed hope and optimism, knowing that their kingdom would thrive once more. That's a wrap. If you're hungry for more intriguing stories, check out our next video. Click here.